Class, welcome to Ajade Math Class. Today, we shall be solving um, uh, this question. That is, we want to calculate our angle at. First thing for us to note is that here, our angle A, B, and C is an equilateral triangle. That is, all the angles and all the sides are equal. So from here, we have that our triangle A, B, and C is what is equilateral so um and if it is an equilateral triangle from here we know that this is going to be 60 degree also we have that this is going to be 60 degree and um, this also equals 60 degree because the total angle in a triangle is 180 and if these three angles are added together we're going to have um, 180 angles so from here um don't forget that we are calculating the angle x okay so from here also we see that our angle acb is 60 degree so our angle a c b is 60 degree that is i'm referring to this angle and if this angle ac b is 60 degree so that shows that what our angle b c d is going to be 98 degree and how is that possible that is 38 and 60 this is going to give me 98 okay that is the total angle is going to be 98 degree so that is our what b c d so it's going to be 98 degree and um from here we are going to see also that our angle um b c d that is this bigger triangle our bigger triangle b c d is also an um, isosceles triangle with these two um lines given to us there this shows an, an isosceles triangle don't forget that an isosceles triangle is of this form where you have something of this okay so we have that our um triangle bcd it is an isosceles okay so we have that as an isosceles triangle so from there and um, we've known that our angle BCD is 98. So from here, from the rule of an isosceles triangle, we can call this angle Y, and also we can call this little one angle Y because this and this must be equal. So in order for us to get our angle Y, don't forget that um, the total sum of angle in a triangle is 180. That is our Y plus Y plus 98. Because in this case now, we are having this kind of angle, which is C, D, and B. So in this case, we are having this as 98. This is my Y, and also this is my Y, since it is an isosceles triangle. So the addition of all these angles gives 180. So our Y plus Y plus 98, 98 equals 180. That is what? sum of angle in a triangle so we have that and um, adding this we have 2y equals 180 minus 98 here i have 2y equals 82 so dividing both sides by 2 so from here my y equals 41 degree so that shows that my D is going to be 41 degree. Likewise, this is going to be 41 degree. And um, we, are still look we are still looking for the angle X. And um, for us to get our angle X, um, it is very obvious also that our angle ACD, which is going to look in this form, our angle ACD is also an isosceles triangle. So if you see this, so where this is 38. So we don't know. We don't know this. Let's call it A. 
and we don't know this also a since it's an isosceles triangle so here yeah, we have that our triangle a c d is also what an isosceles triangle so from here um we are going to have our ACD, which is what? Small a plus small a plus 38 degree equals 180, which is the same rule as an above as the sum of angle in a triangle. So with this, we have 2a equals 180 minus 38 and here I have 2a equals 142 degree so dividing both sides by 2 by 2 finally my a is going to be 71 degree so that shows that here I'm having this angle at 71 and this total angle also as what 71 so and since the total angle d is 71 degree and here we have this as x this as 41 it shows that my x and 41 the addition of the two must be equals to 71 so making my x subject of the formula, my x is going to be 71 minus 41 degree. So finally, I have my x to be equals to 30 degree. So this is my final answer. Thank you for watching. And please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next video. Thank you.